Hey, how's it going? I'm David Breesey. I'm up here with Mr. Vince, and we're both from Mix City Inc. And in our course of working with our Jam Tech software, we've encountered a lot of DJs that notice that even though we're very technical guys, we're also purists, and we like to use vinyl with our DVS software. So they've asked us a bunch of questions like, how do you get your equipment to function correctly all the time with your software? Yeah, so in today's video, what we're going to focus on is how to clean your needles the correct way so that your vinyl emulation software works properly. It is important to clean your needle contacts before every gig. The reason for this is because dirty contacts can cause your DVS's calibration to go off. It can even cause your DVS software to lose a channel. When this happens, it can cause the music that is playing to skip. It can also cause your DVS software to get an inaccurate reading from the vinyl, making it difficult and sometimes even impossible to scratch correctly. This is what your DVS software looks like when the needle is not calibrated correctly. One of the main causes for this, like we said before, is dirty contacts. This is what it looks like if you've lost a channel. And finally, this is how you want it to look. This means everything is functioning properly. So let's clean our needles. Things you're gonna need, rubbing alcohol, Q-tips, pencil with an eraser. When you're traveling to your gig, it's much easier to condense the rubbing alcohol and Q-tips into smaller containers. I then put them into a little carrying bag that I can zip up and throw in my DJ bag. People often ask me the easiest way to take the big bottle and get it into the small bottle. Just use a funnel. When I get to a gig, before I put my needles on, I wanna take some rubbing alcohol and clean the end of the needle as well as inside the tone arm before putting the needle on the tone arm. If you have a stubborn contact issue from an abundance of buildup of dirt on either the needle or the tone arm, Say you get to a gig where nobody's been taking care of the turntables and you got a rock and the tone arm is really dirty. You can take a pencil and you can use the eraser on the end of the pencil to clean the tone arm, the inside of the tone arm. You also want to clean the contacts on the end of your needle. Once that's done, you want to take the rubbing alcohol again, just like you did the first time, and use the rubbing alcohol to clean off any of the eraser dust from the needle and the tone arm before you put your needles together. The last thing to note is to remember to keep your needles free from dust. From time to time during your gig, just take a needle brush and make sure you keep them clean. Now you're good to go. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you get notifications every time we upload a new video. And feel free to comment about the video. And if you have any ideas or suggestions on future videos, just let us know.